Hello and welcome to another one of my little videos. Now, if you live in the UK, you've probably seen this advert on the TV. And if you don't live in the UK, you can find this advert by searching for Robert's Beacon on YouTube. Um, now, I was in the market for a new Bluetooth speaker and I remember seeing this advert on TV did a little bit of research into this um, Bluetooth speaker. Weirdly, couldn't find any reviews of it or actual user reviews on YouTube. I found some videos from Roberts itself, which is the manufacturer. It's a British radio manufacturer, started in the 1930s. Claims to be the oldest still in operation, all the way through from its inception in the 30s. Uh, I'm not gonna argue with that, I'm sure it's correct. Uh, but yeah, Robert's Beacon is the name of this thing. So I thought I would do a video showing the box uh, and actually the um, the item itself as well because it's actually a really cool little Bluetooth speaker. So first thing I wanted to show is the box. It's really actually quite nice because it's mimicking the sort of the style of a, an old school retro radio uh, with this kind of speaker. It's not a speaker, obviously, it's a cardboard. So let's get this unboxed. I'm not gonna lie, I've already, I've already unboxed this and tested it, so it's not a proper unboxing, but I wanted to show you the rather nice packaging that it comes in. So this sleeve comes off, it's just a cardboard sleeve. And then inside you have this rather nice uh, corrugated cardboard box, and then the uh, little compartments come away inside. So you've got your uh, plug, etc., in here. It's a nice big, chunky plug there we go and your instruction manual pamphlet and then in the top compartment you have the actual beacon itself uh, with a rather nice little inlay as well so let's just uh, take that out from its uh, casket so you go very nice, very sturdy box. And here's the beacon itself. So one of the things that attracted me to this uh, Bluetooth speaker was obviously the, the aesthetic look at it. It looks quite nice. You get these on all different colors as you saw in the advert or if you've looked at the advert online, uh, you get them in like yellow, red. I've, I went for the midnight blue. And this is it, there's three different versions of the, the beacon. This is the sort of middle range one. This is the 320. I think there's a 330 and a 310. And they all have different differing uh, amounts of uh, functionality depending on which type you get but this is the sort of the middle range one and this was like 90 pounds uh, so yeah you've got this little cardboard pamphlet thing tells you what all the different lights on top do the different manu uh, the different buttons uh, how to connect it to bluetooth to your phone etc as i said earlier i have already connected this to my ipad and tested it and it, it actually sounds really really good uh, I will play some music through it shortly, but first of all, let's just have a quick look at the actual thing itself. It's not very heavy, it about the same, weighs about the same as a bag of sugar, I would say. Um, and um, just to give some kind of reference to how big it actually is, this is an iPhone. That's an iPhone SE. So that's just to give you some kind of reference point to how big the beacon is. It's not as big as it probably looks in the advert, uh, but it's quite compact. It's got a lot of weight to it feels sturdy got a nice Roberts logo at the bottom there and then on top you've got different buttons so you've got uh, the power button obviously the Bluetooth pairing button uh, the volume and uh, these lights here in the middle they do different things depending on the operation as it says in the uh, operating pamphlet um, around the back not really anything major to see got an audio in or auxiliary in and your DC power five volt connector. And um, you've got like a nice rubberized foot on the bottom here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like. Um, I really like it. As I said, you can get them in different colors. I went for the blue one just because it's the most, the one that kind of fits in the most with the decor in, in my house. Um, the yellow one sticks out a bit, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, and now I will uh, put some music on it and play it and so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, if the audio sounds slightly different in this clip, it's because I've taken the mic off my Tascam and I'm now recording it onto the Tascam thing itself here. Just wanted to use this to record audio from that. So I'm gonna turn it on now and you can hear the little noise it makes, which is quite nice to be fair. 
and just hold the so you hold the on off button and then it sort of comes on and then you can see that it's on it's doing its thing um, and I've already paired this to my iPad so I'll just leave that there and have a quick look I'm aware that this will uh, be copyright claimed I'm sure but here's the iPad uh, let's see what should I put on so here we go there's some Raz hopefully you can hear the sound quality of this So you can turn it down using the actual speaker controls itself. Now I'm trying to get back before the cool done run out. I'll be giving it my But yeah, I'm gonna stop that now just in case I know I'm gonna get copyright claimed, but I'm not really bothered because that's not why I do these videos. Um but yeah, so the beacon is really well built, very sturdy, um, looks really cool. The sound is absolutely brilliant for how big it is. It, it fills the room, the sound fills the room. The bass is really, really cool. If you look on Amazon, some of the um, reviews say that it sounds bad and it sounds tinny. I don't know where these people are getting that from because it doesn't. It sounds absolutely fantastic for the size of it. As I said, um, we had people around recently and we had this on in the, in the living room, in the background, and the sound is just phenomenal. It completely fills the room. It sounded like we had a full stereo on, but it was just this little thing over in the corner. So yeah. Robert's Beacon, again, this is not really a review because I'm not knowledgeable enough to do a review of a Bluetooth speaker other than it works, sounds great, and it blows the socks off the thing I was using before, which was like a little cheap, um, like £10 Bluetooth speaker with no bass um, and just sounded really tinny. But this thing is just, you know, the real deal. So if you are looking for a really high quality Bluetooth speaker, I could I can't recommend the beacon enough to be honest and I'm really surprised that there's no other videos really reviewing this like from actual audio uh, files if you want to call them that people who do this kind of thing uh, on YouTube you know professionally or whatnot uh, but yeah it's just such a cool thing and it just looks amazing it sounds amazing and yeah if you, you, you get what you pay for really so if you've got if you can afford one obviously I would I would highly recommend it. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the uh, Roberts Beacon. Gets a thumbs up from me. If you can see that there, a thumbs up. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.